Good morning, everybody. It's Mike, and thanks for jumping on with us today. Uh, today, I got uh, a special treat for you today. I'm going to offer you nine rules for being a good real estate agent. Okay, grab something to jot these down with. We're going to have a little fun with this, but there's some real truths embedded within these nine rules. You ready? Let's get started. Rule number one uh, don't spend your commissions three times. <laughs> well, what am I talking about? Oh, come on, you know what we do. I take the listing, I celebrate. I put the listing under contract, I celebrate. I close the listing, I celebrate. I've celebrated three times before I even get paid. And don't do that. Celebrate your closings. Everything else is future income. Don't count your chickens. Make sense? Rule number two, great prospecting solves all problems. Prospecting is marketing yourself in whatever form makes sense for you and your target audience. Problems do you have today? Well, I'm going to contend that every problem you have can be solved with great prospecting, great marketing of yourself every day. You think you have a problem that great prospecting doesn't solve? You come see me. Let's talk about it. Maybe I'm wrong or maybe you are. Let's find out. Number three of our nine rules for being a great real estate agent. If you don't have an assistant, you are one. Here at my company, we have an administrative team called HELP. <clears throat> HELP is your assistant. If you don't work here, you need to have an assistant. If you don't have an assistant, you are the assistant. You're doing $15 to $20 an hour work, and then you can't understand at the end of the year why you're not hitting your financial goals. If you don't have an assistant, you are one. Uh, next on our list, hey, list to last. Now this goes back a long way, and the reason why it's still around today, because it's true. That's why it's still around today. You want to last in this business? List property. That's how you stick around. Why? Because you can leverage yourself. You can handle so many more transactions each month than you can on the buy side of the transaction, especially in today's market, right? Okay, number five on our list, your schedule is your best friend. And it absolutely is, folks. I should have put this up at number one. Your schedule is your best friend. If you don't have a weekly schedule, uh, you know what? There's nowhere even to start if you don't have a weekly schedule. That weekly schedule of mine allows me to achieve everything I want in my life, both business and personal. My schedule, it's my best friend. Number six on my list is uh, there's only two rules to sales. Show up and ask for the business. That's it. Folks, if you show up, you beat 75% of people in the industry. Just show up, get up, get dressed, go to work. Same time every day. Run your business like a business. Open it and close it at roughly the same time every day. All other businesses do. Why don't you? Number seven on my list. There's only two reasons why homes don't sell. Now look, we really need as real estate professionals to get this embedded within our DNA. There's only two reasons why homes don't sell. And there's not three, there's only two. And all these other reasons that you can come up with fall within these two categories. It's not priced right, or it wasn't marketed correctly. What's important these days, how important are pictures in marketing your listings? Are they important? You're right, right? How about listing it appropriately, correctly, accurately in the MLS system? If you don't do that, is that likely to hurt? How many times do you see other agents using really poor quality pictures, poorly written descriptions, inaccurate data? Does that make you want to get in the car and go show those homes? No. Pricing it right. Yeah, there is no strategy for overpriced listings. There's no strategy for that. Number eight on the list. Folks, listen to me right now. If you knew how little other people thought about you, you wouldn't care what they thought about you. If you knew how little time other people are spending focused on you, 
you wouldn't care what they thought about you. Everybody's paying attention to themselves. Everybody's not sitting around being critical of you. Get over ourselves, right? It's rule number eight. Rule number nine is really important, and I want to leave you with this for this week. Hey, no excuses. No excuses. Play like a champion or go home. No participation trophies in this. Nobody cares why I didn't do something today. I just didn't. No excuses. Play like a champion or go home. Now, let's go out there and make it happen for ourselves this week.